touchscreens are a fact of life nowadays. Pretty much every electronic device has one. Certainly every single phone pretty much has one as well, unless you're particularly enamored to old style phones. But uh, they didn't start when Apple released the Apple um, first Apple phone, of course. They've been around for a long time before then. Indeed, in the late 80s, NEC even included it in a bunch of peripherals for their PC Engine console. And here's the Illust Booster, or the PI84 to give it its other name. Uh, this one is yeah, slightly discoloured. Uh, this is basically the colour it should be up here, much closer to the original PC Engine colour. Um, it's very simple. This bit here is the touchscreen portion. Uh, here we have three action buttons, matching the three buttons of the controller. There's no start, obviously, or anything like that, or run button in this case. And it just has a cable which plugs into the normal Japanese-style smaller DIN plug controller port. So yeah, this was part of effectively a package, although you had to buy them separately, which included the print booster, which was effectively a printer that plugged into the back of the PC engine, and a photo reader, which was a scanner. <laughs> you could scan in well, photos or anything, really. And they all were tied in to use, uh, be used with a product called Artist Tool, which actually came with the print booster. Getting hold of Artist Tool is quite dif difficult because um, so it was generally bundled with the, uh, the print booster, so it's quite expensive when it does turn up at auctions. But we obviously have a copy of it on our multi uh, cart for the PC Engine. Makes it a bit more difficult to use because obviously um, we can't control the multi cart with this because it has no directional buttons. These kind of work, but not enough, and it doesn't have run anyway. Um, but we have to have it plugged in for Artist Tool to work properly. But doing some jiggery pokery, we can get it to work. So, yeah, I think the best thing is we uh, load up the software and we just take a little look at how it all works. So here we are, Artist Tool. So if we push the red action button. Oh, work. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is the main screen. So we should be able to push down on this and it should allow us, there we go, to move around the screen. So we want to, I guess we want to do that, right? So action, no, that one, there we go. So now we should be able to, there we go, we can move the cursor. Now if we hold down red while we're moving, and we get to draw. <laughs> it's it's not terrible. It's um, considering its its age, it's quite, oh, press eight, there we are, there we are. You'd have to hold it down actually, you just have to push it, there we go, there we are. It's a bit, I mean, you can see you can't exactly draw straight line with it but it's uh it, it works <laughs> so if we go back and we kind of get uh, other options for uh things that we do oh, yeah, click on that there we go and uh choose a different color yeah green will do there we are we'll go back out so now we should have a kind of a paintbrush Oh no, no, we got, okay, I misunderstood that entirely, but that's fine, that's, there we go, we can draw circles. <laughs> so, I mean, that's basically it. <laughs> it's kind of cool. This does work, I mean, you have to, you have to give it a fair push, which kind of, yeah, betrays the fact that it's not really like a capacitive one. It requires a bit of effort to, to push in. Um, but it works. It's kind of um, an interesting take on the whole Mario Artist thing. See, Mario Artist came with a, a mouse, which was a, a more traditional method of doing these things. But this is it's a pretty interesting tool, especially for the time when really touchscreens weren't something the everyday person was using as such. They were, uh, well, some phones had them, I guess, but. It, they were mostly on terminals and things, uh, especially like in restaurants and what have you. But it's, I think it's a really cool tool. <laughs> I would really like to get hold of the other things, obviously. Um, I think it would be, it's more interesting with those things, but I think it's still, it's still quite interesting without them.
there you go, a very simple device, uh, but an interesting one, I think, especially for the time. There is also a mouse that the NEC uh, PC Engine had. Uh, we have actually done a video on that, including Lemmings, which works with it. Uh, that's also very interesting. I would love to get hold of the print booster and the uh, photo reader, obviously, and if I ever do, I will absolutely do a, an update video to this to show them all working together, because I think that would be fairly interesting. But anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit like. If you really like the video, please hit subscribe. If you didn't like the video or you have something else to say, then please leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can be told of any new videos videos that turn up. See you next time. The present is horrible. The future looks bleak. Remember our childhood to get us through the week. We're getting re-enthused. Back to the past and the things we used. We all know that our pasts were great. Escaping the things that Today we hate Getting re-enthused Getting re-enthused Getting re-enthused